It's a great day guys and welcome to today's edition of Ask a Pro. In today's edition, we have some very, very awesome questions. Yeah, my name is Toby King, CEO of Bilekin and our Wealthy. Let's go. Yeah, so the first question here is, hi, recently had a case with a client. When we chartered the property, it was under government acquisition. Although the seller said he could buy because the area was already developed. Is it safe to buy? What are the implications? What could be done? Yeah, this is a very, very popular question and case that comes up here within the Lekki Peninsula. Now, my advice is always go for title properties. Yes, to actually save you spending double, go for titled property. However, if by chance you bought the property and you chatted it and came out to be global acquisition. Now, there are two different types of acquisition. We have global acquisition and committed acquisition. So if it's global acquisition, you could actually ratify it. However, with committed acquisition, the chances of ratifying it is very, very slim. I know the next question in your mind is, what is the difference between global acquisition and committed acquisition? Now, so for global acquisition, is that kind of acquisition where government don't even know what they want to use the land for. It is committed, but it has no definite purpose. So most times, government allow you to ratify such committed land. However, for committed acquisition, government has a specific purpose or need for the land. Say, hospital, or uh, road network, or maybe a market. So in such case, your chances of ratifying the property is very, very slim. Right, so always go for titled properties and stay away from committed properties. Yeah, thank you. All right, so I have a second question here. Hi, majority of my post spread always ask for half plot of land. Anytime I convince them to make it a full plot, I don't hear from them again. What am I doing wrong and what can I do right? Now, usually you shouldn't enforce your own wish on your client. However, you can actually inspire them to get something better. You can actually paint a picture, a mental picture of what they could use a full plot or multiple plots to do. But you enforcing them to buy what you want, you're not in their pocket. You don't know what their budget is. So you should not enforce what they should buy. You should only inspire them, tell them what they can do. You could actually pitch to them that, you know, if you get two plots in the next five years, you could sell the plots to build the order rather than enforcing them to buy what you need them to buy. Yeah, next question. Hello, I need your help, please. I'm almost giving up with real estate. I post daily on my social media. I talk to people about real estate. I try hard but didn't get any results. What can I do to help me make sales? Yeah, so from this feedback, you've actually been going advice wrongly. You need to get the right knowledge. So you need to come to our Realtors Forum where we teach Realtors how to run advice correctly on various social media platforms. Now, don't fall for the trap that you need to post more on the platform to sell because most times, you actually post into the same sort of process. You would rather need to generate more leads, especially quality leads, HNI is who you can sell to, and not bug your current friends and families who don't have the capacity to buy from you currently. Yeah, thank you. So we have another wonderful question here. Hi, I'm pretty good with sales. We have clients with the capacity to buy the acres and more, but they do just one or two plots, sometimes three. How do I convince them to buy in large sums for good capital gains? All right, so one of the ways you can actually sell in bulk is to change your vocabulary, yeah. So when you ask people to buy one or two plots, they buy exactly what you ask them to do. But when you ask them to buy in acres and hectares, they tend to up their game. Another way is to ask your existing clients to buy alongside with their friends. Yeah, most friends, most people won't buy next to their friends. So by asking them, encouraging them to buy with your friends, they tend to buy more. Another way to sell in bulk is to sell to businesses and cooperatives. So you could actually reach out to your religious institutions or your friends, um, a business union or whatsoever, and encourage them to buy together. That way, they get some discounts and you get some much more commission on your sales. Yeah. Hi, I have a problem with my mindset. Sometimes I don't believe I'm caught up for real estate. I'm afraid to even tell people that I sell real estate because of my current financial condition. I feel they will look down on me. How can I improve my mindset? Yeah, wonderful question. Now, I know a lot of people are not selling because of their mindset. And um, 
Do you know that the human mind cannot differentiate between what has been imagined and what is real? So you need to outsmart your mind, especially your subconscious mind. You need to start telling your mind that you're rich, you can afford real estate yourself. Because your mind over time can differentiate if you truly have this money in your account or you're just imagining it. That way you have enough confidence to close that deal, to reach out to someone and tell them to buy real estate. Okay, so also note that as soon as you earn enough money, you should start buying real estate for yourself because in a short while, your village people will mind you.